Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have that a plus 2ab plus b equal to 8 and we need to find what will be called this sum a plus b. This is a really good day finding equation, so we can... I'm going to show you how can we solve this. First of all, take a look. Let's factor out from this expression. I, I read this expression right here, so we'll have a plus 2ab and plus b equal to 8. Let's factor out from these two elements, let's factor out 2a. So we are going to factor 2a. If we factor 2a from this, we will have 2a. In this parenthesis we will have not a by, but only one half. And of course plus plus b, because from here we factor out this, this 2a. I hope you understand this step. Why this step is really good? Because I show you it a little bit later. And of course plus b and equal to 8. Take a look, right here we will have 1 half plus b in this parenthesis, we will have 1 half plus b. Right here we will have only b, so if we add on the left hand side 1 half and on the right hand side plus 1 half, we will have a really interesting and there's really good, really good expression. So we will have 2a, we will have 1 half plus b and of course right here plus b plus one half, and I, I take this in, in brackets, in parentheses, equal to eight plus one half. So I hope you understand this step, nothing hard, I just add one half on both sides. But right now, as you can see, we'll have one half plus b and b plus one half, this is the same, so we can easily factor out this, this element. Let's factor out b plus one half, so b plus one half, we factor this, this expression. Right here we'll have a, 2a, and right here we'll have 1. So right here 2a, 2a plus 1. And if we add this, 8 plus 1 half, we will have 17 over, over 2, 17 half. So we hope you understand this step. This is a really good trick, so I suggest you to learn this or to remember this trick, because this is a really good method. How can we factor out this, this expression? So let's, let's solve this. Let's solve this next. Right here we'll have 2, so it's really good to multiply both sides by 2 because we don't need this, this fraction right here, so right here multiplying by, by 2. If we multiply by 2, we will have 2 times b plus 1 half and times 2a plus 1 equal to, equal to 17. If we multiply, we will have a really interesting expression right here because we cancel these two and we will have only 2b and plus 1 times 2a plus 1 equal to equal to 17. So finally we factor uh, our, our expression. So we'll have 2b plus 1 and 2a plus 1. On the right hand side we'll have 17. 17 as you know this is a prime number. So we can factor out like not a lot of cases we'll have right here because prime number divide only by itself or only by 1. So how can we Express this 17. First case, 17 times 1. Second case, 1 times 17. And of course, negative form. We will have minus 17 times minus 1. And in, in another way, we will have minus 1 times minus 17. So we'll have four cases. How can we how can we express this this answer? So what we're going to do next? We will have a really interesting the system of the system of equation. So if a equal to 2b plus 1 equal to 17, so let's solve this, 2b plus 1 equal to 17, you will have from here that 2b equal to 16 and b equal to 8. b equal to 8. And of course our a will be equal to 0 our a will be equal to 0 because 2a plus 1 equal to 1 and from here a equal to 0. So we will have that our a equal to 1 and our b, our a equal to 0 and b equal to 8, so our first a plus b equal to, equal to 8. And if we're interested in this case, in negative case, we will have that our b equal to minus 9 and our a equal to minus 1. So if we add this we will have that our a plus b equal to minus 10. 
So this is this is our answer. This is our our solution to this problem. So this case is for negative one. Of course, we can easily find it because if to be plus one equal to minus seventeen, we will have to be equal to minus eighteen, and we will have be equal to be equal to nine. So this is our negative case. And this is our positive case. And we will have our answer. Of course, if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and see you in the next videos.